So guys, do you remember these old bulbs? So many years back, these used to be in our houses at so many places. And a few years back, these LED bulbs have completely replaced all these old bulbs because these are almost 80% more power efficient. And even in the same way, the fan technology also is getting upgraded from a regular fan to a BLDC fan. And compared to our regular fans, these BLDC fans are almost 50% more power efficient. And if you're using inverter at your home, these BLDC fans can run almost double the time than the normal fans. But should you really invest in these fans? Are these fans really better than your normal fans? So today in this video, I'm going to be comparing all their features and I'm going to be doing some real-time tests with both the fans so that you can get complete clarity which fan is actually best for you. So based on the top ratings and great reviews, I have bought here a top-selling BLDC fan and a regular fan. So before starting the real-time test, let's compare the features of both the fans. So if I talk about power consumption, a regular fan consumes almost around 75 watts of power. But on the other hand, a BLDZ fan consumes almost 28 to 35 watts of power, which is almost half the wattage of the regular fan. And if we talk about the weights of both the fans, it is almost equal, which is around 4 kgs. And when I check the build quality of both the fans, both are quite good. And if we talk about the speed controlling in both the fans, you can control a normal fan with the help of a speed regulator. But with all the BLTZ fans, you get a remote control from which you can control the speed and chain different functions. And with BLTZ fans, you also get some extra features in the fan remote like timer option and sleep option, which is quite common in most of the BLTZ fans. And if I talk about the pricing here, a regular fan pricing starts around from 1500 rupees, but a BLTZ fan starts around at 3000 rupees. And we'll also check one more thing here that which fan is actually more cost effective for the duration of one year and the duration of five years. So I have done a very simple calculation here for you so that you can get to know which fan will be actually cheaper in long term usage. So here I've taken an average pricing of both the fans. So I'll be calculating power bill for an average daily usage of 12 hours for a period of one year and five years. So that you can see the difference in both the fans. So you can see here as per the common per unit price, the power bill of normal fan usually costs around 2300 rupees per year. But on the other hand, a BLDZ fan's power bill will only cost you around 80 rupees to 900 rupees. And which means you can save almost 1500 rupees for an entire year. And if I do the same calculation for the 5 years duration as well, the power bill of normal fan will come around 11,500 rupees. And on the other hand, BLDZ fan's power bill will only be around 4,300 rupees. And the total saving you do here is more than 7,000 rupees. So I would like to tell here that the extra price you pay for the BLDZ fan initially will almost be recovered within a span of just one year. And just wait, if I calculate this power usage for almost three to four fans for the period of five years, you can actually save almost 25 to 30,000 rupees. And that's a lot of cash. So we are not gonna stop here. We are going to do a real time test with both the fans. So let's start with the first test, which is the air delivery test. So we have set both the fans at the speed five and we are going to measure the air delivery from this professional speed checking device which measures the airflow in CMM that is cubic meter per minute and higher the CMM better will be the air delivery and we are going to check the air delivery at three places in the room that is in the center just beside the center and at the corner of the room to check which fan has the best air delivery across the room. So first here we have installed a normal fan from which we'll be checking the air delivery on all the three points in the room. And after that we have also installed the BLDZ fan to check the air delivery at the same places in the room. And you can see the results here. Both the fans has performed quite similar at the speed five at all the three positions. But if I talk about the boost function of the BLDZ fan, that was even better than the normal fan at speed five. So let's start our next test which is the power consumption test. So we have set both the fans at speed 5 and then we check the power consumption for both of them. So you can see here the normal fan power consumption was almost around 73 to 75 watts but on the other hand the power consumption of BLDZ fan was only around 27 to 28 watts which is quite a huge difference. So let's start our next test here which is the noise test and we'll be checking the noise of both the fans at speed 5 with the help of this noise checking device. So you can see here the noise of the normal fan is around 75 decibels but on the other hand the BLDZ fan sound is only 65 decibels which is actually quite a noticeable difference. So after the personal observation of all the tests you can see the final results here. Although the air delivery of both the fans was quite similar but in terms of power delivery noise and special features BLDC fan was much better. 
So if I talk about the pricing here, BLDC fan might be slightly expensive than the normal fan. But if you calculate the cost in long term, you save much higher in BLDC fan compared to a regular fan. So if you like the in-depth comparison in our video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you have any doubts or queries, you can ask me in the comments below. So if you want to know the best BLDC fan in the market, you can check the video here. And you can also check our latest video here. So thank you for now. I'll see you in the next video.